What's up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have a new snack crate. Aww. And it's from France. First off, we're gonna go and explain all the snack crate items in this snack crate, and then we're gonna try them all on camera and give you a review from a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so now we have everything laid out here. I'll show you this little piece of paper here. Uh, it gives us a description of every item in the snack crate. We're going to go through real quick and just describe a little bit of each item here, and then we're going to try them on camera. Uh, we'll start with the, the drink first, the or Orgina. This iconic French beverage features a mix of refreshing fruit juices, real orange pulp, and a pinch of orange zest, and a side of light carbonation. Next to it, we have the Lay's... Paulette roti, and these crispy potato chips are bursting with a succulent flavor of savory roasted chicken straight from a farm in the French country style. Next to it, we have the St. Michael Madeleines, uh, named after the royal chef of King Louis. These divine little cakes are soft, buttery, and light lightly sweetened. A must try for any dessert lover. So next we have the, I think it's pronounced Horbrina or Gina Pick. And these tangy citrus flavors of the ever popular Orgina Soda, which is right here actually, are the perfect complement to these soft, chewy, and slightly sour gummies. Nice. Down from it, we have the Mikado Chocolate Noir. And these buttery biscuit sticks are dipped in rich dark chocolate, making them an ideal match for your cafe a lot or as a quick snack on the go. So that's what these are right here. Next to it, this little uh, Lulu Lorsen. This sweet uh, bear-shaped sponge cake is filled with rich decadent milk chocolate, making it perfect treat for any snack-worthy occasion. Uh, next to it, we have the Petit Ecolier, a French favorite for a good reason. These crispy, sweet, and buttery shortbread cookies topped with a generous layer of rich chocolate. Next to it, we have the Nestle Sunday Crispy cornflakes added a delightful crunch to this salty, sweet treat, while the dark chocolate coating provides a rich, indulgent flavor. And down below it, we have the Nestle Nuts, nutty, creamy, and caramely, and deliciously coated in milk chocolate. This Nestle chocolate bar is a heavenly treat treat that you won't be able to resist. I, I'm going to say that it might be called Tietz Borlis. I don't know how to pronounce some of these. So if I murder them, I'm, I apologize. Aptly named, these hot-headed, chewy candies have an intensely sour coating that melts away to reveal a soft, sweet, and fruity center. So that's these right here. Looks like we got two different ones to try. So... Next to it, we have the Haribo Tagata Fraiche. And that is tantalizing French taste buds for over 50 years. These little gummies are packed with strawberry flavor and dusted with a fine coating of sugar. Sounds good. We have two more items here we haven't mentioned. We have this little small boy right here. The La Trinitane Galette, I think. Uh, with a chance of becoming your new favorite cookie, these bite-sized treats are a perfect combination of sweet crunch and buttery delight. And then these right here are the Herbero. Haribo. Haribo. These right here are the Haribo Roulette Cola. And love the fizzy taste of carbonated cola. These gummy discs are bursting with that iconic flavor and they're a perfect snack anytime, anywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a little bit of all this on camera and let you know what we think about them. See you in a second. Okay, so we're back, and what we're going to do is we're going to try the Orgina first. We always try the drink now first, so let's crack that bad boy open. Eh. Just cut my fingernails. <laughs> Can't hardly get the dab. Woo! Boy, that smells just like a citrus lime drink. So we got our little glasses here. Like you can actually see the pulp on the side of the glass. Y'all see that? That glass is perfectly clean. <laughs> but you can see like little tiny pieces of pulp right there. It's not bad. It tastes like a carbonated orange juice. Mm -hmm. It's not too overpowering. Well, that's actually pretty good. 
That's different. I've never had something like that before. Have you? Mm -mm. It's a carbonated orange juice. That's weird and 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 not in a bad way. Like, it, eh. what do you think? I liked it. I really liked it. It's actually not that bad. It's a little sour, just a little bit like orange juice is, you know, the pulpy orange juice and whatnot. But what do you get? Probably none. None. I don't know. That's a hard one. It's 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 got like a weird taste. This would be perfect for like a breakfast. I love sodas or pop, whatever you call it. If you ate this with a sausage biscuit or a biscuit and gravy or something, you know, or oh man, that would be perfect. It would complement it one hundred percent. I bet it'd be good cold. I bet you it would be better cold. Yeah, we did try it kind of. We we've been trying it without ice because without ice, kind of uh, ice dilutes you know, when it melts. So. We want to get the full flavor and actually try it and see what it is, you know. So we quit doing it with ice, so. Yeah, I'll give it a nine. I'll agree with that. It's it's different. I've never tried a carbonated orange juice before. That's good. <laughs> That's really nice. I really like it. Okay, let's move on to the chips. We always chip it out. Rotisserie chicken from Lay's. Whoa. Boy, that, that's, that does smell like chicken. She's over there sniffing it. It smells like chicken salad. It does smell like chicken salad a little bit. I agree oh, with that. It smells good. It smells just like chicken salad, actually. Well, you know, my homemade chicken salad or, or you buy the store or whatnot. That's what they look like right there. Just a basic glazed chip, you know, uh, non-ridges. Oh my gosh. Does that taste like turkey to you? It actually does. Like the Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> it's like a Thanksgiving turkey to you? <laughs> or mixed with stuffing. They're good. They're not bad. I've never had a chip like that. They're different. They're different. What you said earlier, they taste like a Thanksgiving dinner mixed with stuffing. 100%. It's supposed to have a rotisserie chicken taste, but it's got like, immediately when it came off and it hit my tongue, it tastes like a Thanksgiving turkey. What do you think? I like them, so I'll give them a nine. A nine? They immediately burst with flavor. Like, as soon as they hit your tongue, just flavor, 100% through. It's really, really strong and, and pungent. Um, I say I'd probably give it about an eight. They're okay, but uh, I, I give it an eight. Move on to St. Michael's. These were like soft cookies or, or cakes or something. Let's try them. I couldn't hulk it. You know how strong I am. I couldn't freaking pull that apart. <laughs> they smell good. Oh, that smelled like a, a muffin almost. Yeah, they do. Smell like muffins actually. Chocolate chip muffin, maybe? Yeah. So this is uh this is what they look like. Right there. And Very soft. I'm burping up orange. It's like if you drank an orange soda and burped up, it's the exact same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're kind of tasteless. I don't know. I mean, I can taste chocolate a little bit. It's very sweet. They're soft, but they're dry. What do you think? I'll give them a seven. Good. They are good. Ugh. They were sticking to the top of my mouth. They're dry. The chocolate's delicious. The taste is good. It's just mostly just chocolate taste. Is that what you're yeah. getting? If they weren't so dry, I might give them something decent. But what'd you give them? Seven. You want to give them a seven? I think I'm going to actually give them about a... I'm going to give this one a five. And the reason why I'm giving it a five is because it was just dry. The taste is good. It's I mean, it's not really, really that big of a taste, but... 
They're good. They're kind of like a cheap uh, muffin, you know, you buy at a gas station or something like that. That's what they kind of remind me of. They're not bad, though. I mean, they really aren't bad. They're edible, for sure, for 100% sure. But they're just, they're just too dry for me. So, I give them a five. <coughs> Better out than in. Can you imagine it going in? What? <laughs> She says, what? <laughs> not today. Not, not today, she says. Not today. Anyway. Uh... Back to the snack crate video. So next we're going to try these bad boys. These look good. I like gummies. I do. Gummies are probably one of my favorite... Squishy, sna squishy snacks. That's what they look like. We're gonna try about one or two each here. I'll tell you what, there's looks like there's two different flavors here, like yellow or red, so. Here's you, one yellow, one red. So there's a red. And then there's a yellow. Let's try the red first. Mmm, sour. Really chewy. Why is the middle so chewy? Mmm. 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 Yum, yum. Is this lemon? Um, you eating both already? Mmm. This is so good. What do you think? I think it was a 10. Yep. Well, there's got to be a 10. They're super sweet. They're really good. Oh, I mean, as far goodness. as like a, uh, they're sour and sweet at the same time. And I really like them. So, yeah, they're really good. They're they're kind of chewy a little bit, but that would be my only pick about it. But real good. Real good. I like those. Those are definitely a hit. <laughs> All righty. Let's try the Mikado. Little sticks. <laughs> little chocolate sticks. Hello. Mr. Vacuum's here. <laughs> he keeps getting closer. So, they come in a box and then a bag in a box. So, there's quite a few of them actually in there, as you can see. Still burping up that orange juice. <laughs> that orange juice is still coming back up. Smell that dark chocolate. But yeah, that chocolate, and then it's got like a little stick part for you to hold it here at the end. So. Woo! That's a potent dark chocolate. As some of you may know... We're not too much fans of dark chocolate, but we try to give fair reviews on it, so. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's a very interesting design. It would have been better if it wouldn't have milk chocolate. If it would have been milk chocolate, yeah. I probably would have enjoyed it a little better, but. What do you think? Why don't you give it about a six? Being fair with dark chocolate. The concept's fun. This would be kind of like a, a real fun thing for kids, you know? Especially uh, little sticks that you can eat, you know, they're pretty neat. I like the concept chocolate on uh, like it's like a cracker basically is what it is, but The taste man that is a strong dark chocolate. I'm not much on the We're like we said we're not much on dark chocolates, but being fair. I'm gonna give it an eight It's not too bad. It's just god that's chocolate strong <laughs> It really is Lulu, Lulu, I got a snack cake. The Lulu snack cake. <laughs> it, it looks like it's squished a little bit. But we're not going to be able to... We're going to have to share it, but then again, we're going to have to eat the whole thing probably. Um, as far as like little bear snack cakes, we've had actually quite a few bear snack cakes on the channel, on snack crates. People like... Dressing up bears in chocolate, and then the poor bear in it. I mean, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You... It's injected with uh, chocolate, I guess. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and snap. Yeah, what's up? And I'm gonna eat half of it. She'll eat half. We're gonna share it. But it's got a little bit of chocolate there in the middle of it, as you can see. really soft it was soft that chocolate that's good mm. 
the cake's a little dry, but it's spongy. Not bad. What do you think? I like it. Like it? I have to give that a nine. Nine? Yeah, I think uh, I'll give it an eight. Like I said, the cake's a little dry, but the chocolate in the middle of it's like a ten for sure. That chocolate's delicious. Absolutely delicious chocolate in the middle of that. So let's try the sundae. It's already broken. It's dark chocolate again. Dark chocolate again? Oh no. Of course, Nestle makes this. Boy, it's messy. It has got pieces everywhere. Um, yeah, so that was what? Frosted Flakes? Corn Flakes. Corn Flakes, sorry. Corn Flakes with chocolate? Mm hmm. Crunchy. Probably hear that crunch. Can't really taste the chocolate that much. I can a little bit. It kind of reminds me of a granola bar or a breakfast bar. Not bad. Really crunchy, <laughs> but I like it. What do you think? That was very good. I loved it. I'll give it a ten. The crunchiness is really good. I could taste the chocolate. I could taste it. Yeah, it didn't have like a very milky. No, it just, it's a cereal bar. It's what it tastes like. Wasn't that like a, don't really taste like a dark, dark. It really don't taste like a dark, dark chocolate. Yeah, but like you can that, still tell it's a dark chocolate. Like, like these. Sticks, yeah. yeah, like these. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it a, it deserves a 10. It's really good. It really is. It's real crunchy. I like, sometimes I like real crunchy stuff. Sometimes I don't. Um, just kind of feels like a mood I'm in. I'm in a crunchy mood today for sure. It's real good. The flavor just comes out right at you and just just a blast of flavor. So yeah, it's not too bad. Can't even see that, can you? What was this again? <laughs> I can't remember. Were they crackers? It looks like crackers. Cookies. Cookies, okay. There's two of them here. We'll just try one each. Blue. Blue. <laughs> Chocolate on the front. Looks like cracker on the back. Is that graham cracker? Mm. It tastes like a Carmelo chocolate without the Carmelo. Mm. Yeah. You ripped the head off. <laughs> Unintentionally, of course. Mm. They know how to do their chocolate. Mm-hmm. That was good. My gosh. I'll give that a 10. If it's good, it's good. And that's good. I can't, there's nothing wrong with it. It tastes like a Carmelo chocolate, but it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not. I don't know. It's really weird. Tastes really good. I'm going to give that a 10. She gives it a 100%. There ain't nothing wrong with it at all. Not a single thing wrong with it. I can't find a single thing wrong with it. It's it's delicious. The chocolate's delicious. Nestle nuts. Just like me. Well, is there a picture of a coconut on it? Or is that just Might a be a nut? walnut, I think, maybe. You're a nut. <laughs> this looks good, though. Sometimes you are a nut. This sandwich looks good. Sometimes your sandwich. I don't know. Um, so it came completely smashed and <laughs> melted and uh Yeah, so we're gonna do our best here, okay? To kind of split this one and then split it again. Oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare, I think. I'm still burping up that orange juice. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's okay. That orange juice, I swear. That is so delicious, though, looking. Mm. Chocolate, as soon as it hits your lips, man. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of got like a Snickers consistency, but it, the taste is completely different. You know, it's just, it's not, it's, I've not had something like it before. Is that hazelnuts? I don't say, but I think it is. I think it is. I'm going to give that a 9. What do you think? 10. 10? It's really, really good. It's really, really 
You know, though, it kind of came, you know, a little mashed, but we're probably going to have to eat that soon because now that it's open, it's it's mashed completely. But the caramel, and, oh, it's just so good. The caramel, it's all squishy and soft, like a Snickers is, you know? Wouldn't you agree? It's kind of got like yeah. a Snickers. It's not the taste of a Snickers, but if you ever ate a Snickers before, who hasn't ate a Snickers before? I guess some people haven't, but... You haven't tried a Snickers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you try a Snickers, but it's just it's just completely different out of this world taste. I love it. Let's try these little uh, crackers. You want to try your own? Uh, so these are like little crackers, guys. And uh, let's give them a shot, shall we? You know those butter cookies like in the trays? Butter like cookies. in the metal tins? Mm-hmm. What it smells like. Oh, yeah. For sure, it smells like those uh, around Christmas time yep. that you get uh, those little butter cookies. That's what it smells like. Let's try it. Stop. Tastes just like it. Mm -hmm. mm. They're good. Basically, those little butter cookie uh, tins you get with the big old butter cookies, you know. Mm. Good stuff. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll give that a nine. I love those butter cookies, so I'll give them a ten. I really do. I, I, this has been an absolutely, it's been a pretty good snack crate so far. Let's try us a, uh, a cola flavored candy, shall we? It smells just like cola. It's like a little, little, little disc, you know? Are you supposed to suck or chew on this? <laughs> I'm confused. Because you're really not chewing at all. It doesn't mm. say. Tastes like cola. Yeah. I mean, they're good. Just mm, no, they're very not bad. chewy. They're not bad at all. Just extremely chewy. Mm. I mean, the flavor is, it's, it's a little bit of flavor. Not, there's not much of a cola flavor. There's really not much of a cola flavor, but what cola flavor is there, it is it is quite prominent. I give it a seven, I think. It tastes like cola flavor. You know how you got any kind of cola flavored drink. If it was a little bit more pungent, maybe, or a little bit stronger, then maybe it might have got a higher score, but it's kind of bland a little bit, and it's really, really chewy. Maybe you just let that kind of dissolve in your mouth a little bit. It might be a little better. But I give it a seven, and she gives it a... Eight. She has an eight, so. Can I get a Chagata? Chagata. Chagata. <laughs> what do you want? You can't have a Chagata. No. You were in the last video. Mr. Snarls. Mm, they smell so good. Oh my gosh. Strawberry? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Those are good. Oh, my God. Mm. Wow. It's like a marshmallow center. You're super sweet. Mm hmm. And so much flavor. They're almost perfumey, mm. you know, like how strong they are. Mm -hmm. That's so good, though. I don't believe I've ever had something like this before. My gosh, um, what do you think? Ten. Very Those good. are delicious. They're super, super, super sweet, though. So be careful eating too many of those. But uh, super, super sweet, and gosh, that flavor is just it just punches you in the face. They're perfumey almost. You know how you, some uh, some perfumes are like really, really strong and they just kind of last long and you know, they hit you like that. 10, both of us 10 for sure. 10.5? Yep, definitely. 10.5? Gosh, those are delicious. Those won't be lasting long. Probably not. <laughs>
<laughs> and we have our last item here. We're gonna try both of them. We'll split both of these in half and try them. Is it like Laffy Taffy? I think they're taffy. They're like a taffy. They look just like an airhead. As you can see, it like a taffy. That'd be just an easy way for me to do that. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> really? Was that sweet then sour? I mean, that's sour. Mm, it hits you strong. I like it. I like sour though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It says chewy candies have an intensely sour coating that melts away to reveal a soft, sweet, and fruity center. And there was sour afterwards. Ugh. That was immediately sweet. Oh my god. And then when you started chewing it, the sour hits. Mm. I like it. That was good. I, re I really did like it. It tasted like a warhead. Mm -hmm. What was that one? I don't know the flavor. They don't say what flavors they are. <laughs> don't say what flavors they are. It was some kind of berry or something. This one's going to probably be a sour be apple. apple. Mm. You know what it really tasted like? Those little fun dips that you used to dip the sour dips. Only it's... Like a Laffy Taffy, like a like a warhead, you know, like she, like you said, uh, warhead. the warhead. Boy, it was warhead sour too. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was like Laffy Taffy Taffy, and it was sweet, and then all of a sudden it just went, bam! That hit you. Switch straight over to sour. So we're gonna try the other flavor too while we're here. Shoo! That's still sour. All right, um, here's the other one. Yeah, that's some kind of apple. I think that's sour apple. <laughs> yeah, it's apple. Mm. Sour apple. Mm. Sweet. <laughs> ah. That was even worse. That was way stronger. <laughs> God. That was strong. That was intensely sour. Oh my God. <laughs> that's oh than, god that's worse than a dill pickle oh, that's 15 times <laughs> sour than a dill pickle it's about as sour as it can get God, chew it through, though. It's good. Oh, my gosh, it's it good. It's very good. Mmm. Yeah, I'm on the edge of this one. Because this one... <laughs> it tricks you. 
It's like you start chewing it, you're like, oh, okay, this ain't too bad. <laughs> and then next thing you know, ugh, here comes the punch. Punches you right in the face, right in the tongue. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. <laughs> the look on your face says it all. <laughs> That's good. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love sour. I do. I really do like sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Sweet then sour. <laughs> sweet for a few seconds and this. <laughs> Just for a few seconds. Mmm. Mmm. Good taffy. Man, that taffy's that is very good. Perfect consistency. Super sweet. Super sweet. Between the Yeah, sweet and sour. It's sweet and sour at the same time. Not very much sweet. Yeah. There's a lot of sweetness there. That's, I was tasting sour. Mostly. And then it just switches purely over to sour. It really does. Whew. It's got my eyes watering a little bit. Oh my gosh. Are you still chewing it? Well, I'm done. Well done on that. That was good. That's got to be one of the funnest candies I've had in a while. It really is. Well done on that. What was this called? Teats Brulees. Teats Brulees. Wow. And we got, we got some more of them. Try it. We'll probably definitely eat these for sure. These are delicious. Those are good. They did very good on those. Okay, so out of both of these, which one's your favorite? That's hard because I really. It like is hard because they're both good. What do you think? I think the <laughs> red was my favorite. This one's mine. You know I like sour apple. I love me some sour apple. Um, for sure. This is good, though. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very close. Both of them was very good. And they're both a 10. Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, they're, sure. just deli they're delicious candy. Sweet and punches in the face. With if you like sour stuff... That was a fun candy to eat. I liked it. That's it. That's all we got this time. Boy, that was interesting. I think this has probably been one of the best snack crates we've had in a while, though. I agree. As far as our ratings go, we've had some snack crates that we just, we don't like the taste of some things. We try not to give stuff a really bad rating unless it's really bad, you know? So if it's below like a four, then usually it's it's not that great. Uh, or we don't think it is. It, it, it is everybody's opinion, you know, scale of one to ten, ten, ten being the best, one to be the worst. Um, some people will give stuff a little bit lower on the scale. In all honesty, all this stuff actually tastes really good, but... Yeah, if it's bad, we'll tell you it's bad. If it's good, it's good. <laughs> but guys, don't forget, if you like what you see, do the like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Smash that like button and hit that bell. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace. What do you think? Whew, that thing's still sour.